Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Tax time! Woo! Can't wait to take that standard deduction, yes! Or maybe you're going to itemize. We're taking a look today on the College Investor Audio Show of which strategy might be best for you. All right, so both the standard deduction and itemized deductions reduce the amount of tax you pay in a given year, and that's great. So which one is better? Should you itemize or should you keep things simple and take the standard deduction? We explain when each option makes sense. It's important to note that good tax software will make the decision for you by automatically choosing the deduction that gives you the best savings. We're partnering with Credit Karma Tax to help you understand the choice. If you don't know what tax software to use, check out Credit Karma Tax. It's 100% free. No joke. Get started with it. There's a link on our website, thecollegeinvestor.com. Okay, so first we answer the question, what's the standard deduction? The standard deduction is a way to reduce your taxable income in a given year. For example, a single person who earned 50 grand in 2019 receives a 12,200 standard deduction. That means that person will pay taxes on 37,800, which is nice. No matter how much or little you earn in a given year, you can claim a standard deduction. Just a quick note, the standard deduction is actually going to go up by $200 next year. This is just for a single person. It's going to go up 400 bucks if you're married filing jointly. Good news. Just a little sidebar. All right, so the standard deduction is standard for a reason. Most people won't find more than 12200 worth of expenses that they can itemize. The few people that can itemize are typical people who give generously to charity and live in countries with high property or maybe some income taxes that are higher. What does it mean to itemize taxes? Itemizing your taxes means that you're using valid personal expenses to claim a deduction that's larger than the standard deduction. When you claim a larger deduction, you pay less in taxes, so it's obviously better to itemize your taxes when you can. However, only certain expenses can be itemized. The most common expenses that people itemize include charitable contributions, mortgage interest on up to $750,000 of mortgage, state and local income taxes or sales tax, property taxes, and then medical expenses, but they have to be worth over 10% of your income. So when these types of expenses add up to more than the standard deduction, it really makes sense to itemize your tax return because you get more savings that way. If you don't know if you have more itemizations than your standard deductions, your tax software of choice will ask you to enter all your information, and then they show you the difference. Credit Karma Tax, again, we have that. It's absolutely free to check out at thecollegeinvestor.com. Reducing taxes without itemizing. This is a quick tip for you. Itemizing isn't the only way to reduce your tax bill. There are actually plenty of legal ways to reduce your taxable income. And there's a full list of, uh, the link is called, The Best Tax Breaks That Currently Exist Today. You can check out that article at thecollegeinvestor.com. But we'll just give you a quick example, too, here on the podcast. If you contribute money to a workplace retirement plan, like a 401k or a traditional IRA, things like that, you can deduct the contribution from your gross income. So that means the person who earned $50,000 and contributed $5,000 to her 401k will pay taxes on $32,800. Here's why. $50,000 minus the standard deduction, $12,200, minus 5,000 in retirement contribution deduction. Awesome. And that's just one example of tons of them. In addition to retirement savings, you can deduct legitimate business expenses in your Schedule C, like driving expenses, materials, equipment, and more for your side hustle. Contributing to a health savings plan too, or a health savings account, I should say, is a great way to save for medical expenses and avoid taxes. We love avoiding taxes. Legally, legally avoiding them. (laughs) Other deductions that you can claim without itemizing include educator expenses, you know, for classroom supplies, student loan interest, and alimony you've paid. 
These deductions are called above-the-line deductions. They're a great way to reduce your tax bill. The above-the-line deductions can be combined with your standard deduction, too. <laughs> so it makes sense to load up on the above-the-line deductions. Where you legally can, of course. Strategic planning to load up when you itemize. With the new larger standard deductions, figuring out years to itemize can be a challenge. But you may find it advantageous to itemize in some years and then not in others. If that's you, some strategic financial decisions can help you maximize the advantage of itemizing in certain years. For example, if you buy a house and pay 3000 in points, prepaid interest, plus 2000 in mortgage interest, plus 2000 in property taxes, and 8000 in state income tax, add that all up, makes sense to itemize that year. But you can also boost that tax advantage by doubling up on charitable contributions too. For example, if you donate five grand per year, consider donating 10,000 in the year you bought the house. Maybe make a donation the beginning and end of the year, making up for the prior or future year missed. The, that gives you 5,000 extra to itemize. Then in the next year, you can drop the standard deduction if it makes sense. Timing big expenses, another great tip, such as buying a house or having big surgeries, other expenses. With big giving opportunities, if you can do that together, that can help you maximize the benefit of itemizing in the years it makes sense too. Here are some final quick thoughts. It can be hard to know whether it makes sense to take the standard deduction or to itemize at first glance. However, there is some amazing tax software and it makes the decision really easy, and not only easy, but automatic. Credit Karma Tax, again, 100% free tax filing solution, and you can check out the link to get started today at thecollegeinvestor.com. That's all we have for you today. I hope that was helpful. And if you found some of these tips like, hey, that I know this guy that is going to be itemizing this year. Maybe he needs to know about this tax software. Share this with a friend, some family members. Uncle Bob, he could use some help with his tax filing. Man, really needs help. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks again for listening to the College Investor Audio Show.